My name is Paul and in today's episode I'm going to explain to you how to avoid hunger and lose weight at the same time. Now getting straight to the point, the key to this is meal planning and preparation and it really controls all of this. It will be the reason that you, that you uh, avoid hunger and lose weight at the same time. Now the first benefit of this is the time freedom. Now this gives you, while it takes up time the day before, it gives you time freedom from preparing on the day. You know, I always get caught short, um, you know, something comes up or you've got something you need to do and you don't factor in enough time to actually make your meals and therefore get the food in that you need to take in. So preparing the day before cuts this out entirely because you're taking some time out on the day to prepare for tomorrow. The second point is nutritional help by pre-planning meals. It gives you time to do a little bit of research, you know, find out about the, the meals that are right for you, the nutritional content and then pre-plan them in advance so that you can make sure that you're getting the most nutritional content. For example, if you're going to dinner tomorrow night, you know the restaurant you're going to, if you can try and find out some information about that or the kind of food they serve, then you can prepare that and fact that into your day tomorrow. The third point is self-control as your meals are planned or cooked in advance. You know on the day that you're going to be eating at one o'clock, two o'clock or three o'clock. Um, you know, your dinner's going to be at six o'clock or seven o'clock or something like that. And it's already been planned, it's already been cooked, so you know this is going to happen. And you can adapt this as you go along. You might find you get hungry at different points in the day, so you've got to factor in different meals. And doing that in advance is going to help you cut out the hunger. Now, useful tips to making this work as best as it can is first of all, you want to drink lots of water. Um, you can, there's, I've got a lot of video on how much water you should be drinking every day. Um, but you want to make sure you drink enough water because quite often, if you're hungry, you can, be, you can confuse that with actually being thirsty. So your body might actually want water, but you're thinking you want food. Secondly, you want to stop healthy snacks. Um, I've got other videos on the kind of foods you should be eating, but if you stop healthy snacks, it's going to help you avoid the hunger because you know you can use these to fill up the gap times in between your meals. The third point is that protein and fiber helps you stay feeling full. It actually keeps you fuller for longer than some other things. So it's good to get in lots of that, especially fiber with things like vegetables, and very, very good for keeping you full. And the last point here is you want to avoid refined sugar. Refined sugar increases the volatility of your blood sugar levels, so it's going to get you feeling hungry then, then full and it's going to really mess up your, your blood sugar and your energy, energy expenditure and uh, the food you take on, the energy it gives you. So avoid refined sugar wherever you can, especially things like um, you know, the white, white sugar for tea or coffee or whatever you have that in. So get, definitely cut that out if you can, it will help you um, with, your, with you avoiding hunger and your weight loss especially. Um, and just because you're hungry doesn't mean that you should eat. You know, this is something that's not put across in the fitness world as much as it should be. Just because you feel like you're hungry and you want some food doesn't mean that that's the right time for you to eat or that you should be eating at those times. Um, if, if you want some more information on this, I've got another video, Is Fasting Healthy? You know, I've done different periods of intermittent fasting uh, over the last year and you get hungry at different times, but you realise that there's a greater benefit sometimes to fasting and monitoring your meals and adapting your meal times. So just because you're hungry doesn't mean you necessarily should be eating at that time. But I hope that gives you a few helpful tips and some information on how you can avoid hunger and lose weight at the same time. Don't forget to like the video if you do like it. Thanks for watching. I'd love it if you could subscribe. If not, I'll see you on the next episode.